In two minutes, the late film stars country singer Glenn Campbell as an ex-marine who takes to the open road, Norwood. First on BBC One, the news headlines from Peter Woods. The coroner, who said that two boys who killed themselves because they couldn't find work and shown a lot of courage, has been strongly criticised. The boys, Graham Rathbone, aged 19, and Sean Grant, aged 18, from Widnes, killed themselves in May. But their former headmaster says it's ridiculous to blame the suicides on unemployment. Sir David Blaco said both the boys had had jobs. He believed the deaths were the result of a prank that went wrong. British Leyland has made an overall loss of nearly £226 million in the first half of this year. But the chairman, Sir Michael Edwards, says the company is still on course to break even in 1983 or 4. And on the same day as BL announced its losses, shop stewards of the Transport Union, representing 48,000 of the firm's manual workers, said they'll press for a £20 wage increase in the autumn. The South Africans say they're pulling their troops out of Angola, inflicting heavy casualties on Swapo guerrillas as they do so. But reports from the Angolan capital, Luanda, say there's no sign yet of a withdrawal. The Angolans say South Africa is trying to create a no-man's land between their country and Namibia. Police in Yorkshire have found a second body, this time in Woodland near Garforth in Leeds. The first body was found yesterday while police were digging at a chemical works in Leeds. A 12-year-old boy has been taken to hospital in Belfast tonight after he allegedly had been struck by a plastic bullet. He has injuries to his face and has undergone plastic surgery. The army say they were on routine patrol when they were attacked by a small group of youths firing stones from a catapult, and they fired one round to disperse them. The world mile record has been broken for the second time this week. Sebastian Coe has set a new time of 3 minutes 47.33 in the Golden Mile in Brussels. Coe knocked over a second off Steve Overt's record set in Koblenz on Wednesday. That's the news. Now let's have a look at the weather. Tomorrow, Wales, southwest England and Northern Ireland will be rather cloudy with outbreaks of rain, but also sunny intervals. Remaining areas, although starting dull and misty in places, will have periods of hazy sunshine. There may be a few showers later, possibly heavy, but many places will stay dry. Southern and eastern coasts will have patchy fog at times. It will be less warm than today in the west, with temperatures around 20 degrees centigrade, 68 Fahrenheit, but temperatures will reach 26 centigrade, 79 Fahrenheit, in parts of southeast England. That's the forecast. Newsnight on Two Now looks at British Leyland's prospects with today's announcement of an increased trading deficit. On BBC One, it's time for the late film featuring Glenn Campbell on his musical travels as Norwood. <laughs>